After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Ernest, what brought you to jail today? A uh, fight in public. Starting a fight in public? Yeah, I kind of saw someone posting me standing there, so I was waiting, and he swung. He had skills, I guess. He had some fighting skills? Yeah, I think so. This is what happened to your face? That yeah, okay. yeah, he needs a manicure, too. Though. So what caused your disagreement up well, there? Well, I, I was singing uh, somebody done somebody wrong song, and some other guy standing next to him said, shut up if you can't sing. Some, somebody done somebody wrong yeah. song? I like that song. Can you sing it? Yeah. It's a lonely out tonight. And the feeling's got a ride for a brand new love song. You got a good voice. Somebody done, they told me to shut the up. Yeah? Somebody done. Kind of feel like I'm being serenaded. Okay, I need you to remove your earrings for me. So who is the original singer of the... Uh, uh, BJ Thomas. So no hard feelings once you get out of no, here, right? I like, I don't dislike him. He did what he wanted. I tried to do what I wanted. All right, Ernest, we're going to go back out in the room he came from. Second... Row, first chair. Medical is going to call you up next. Second row. First chair, right there. So you never seen this guy before? You never guys don't hang him. out? I never even know the guy. So you just walking by? Yeah, I just hit him because he called me a freaking Yeah. You know, and well, that's I, offensive. And all I said to him was, why are you even talking to me? And he said, get out of my face, you freaking yeah. You know? And he jumped up and he made his fist, and I, I struck him first. Absolutely. Yeah, well, I can understand your frustration there. Yeah, thank you. you know, all right. I'm sorry. No, don't apologize to me. What I understand, I talk to the rest of the I apologize to him, too. If he wants me to apologize, I'll apologize to him. That's fine. Man, I can say. Wow. I talked to him. He has no hard feelings. Like, And uh, you guys are here for a disorderly conduct. Okay, there's no battery charge. No. All right, there's nobody's pressing charges. You're not pressing charges. He's not pressing charges. So what's going to happen here? You're going to be here for a few hours today. Probably by the end of the day today, you guys are both be released. Okay. Now, you're going to be out there with the guys you come in with, okay? Have a seat. Second row, first chair has two on it. Medical will call you up next. Have a seat right here for me, just for a minute. So what happened out there? He said he didn't like your music, but he said you called him out. Yeah, I did, and I told him to get on, so he alternated one word for the other. But what the hell, it's a hot moment. What word did you use? I didn't call him, no. He, I mean, he, I didn't call him. A well, I'd similar be stories, just minus one word. Yeah, that's all. Because that word is, you guys well, I wouldn't up? call him, I mean, I don't know him, and plus he don't really look like one, so. And then I would have deserved several hits to the head. I wouldn't be so surprised, so I was surprised he's just All right, well, we're going to make sure we keep you two separate. Roy wanted to apologize to Ernest here. You want to apologize to him for starting a fight with us? Even if he did say an offensive word. Absolutely. All right, go ahead. I was under Right here, but this is as close as you guys get hey, together. Brother, no, this is out right here. Hey, brother, oh, sorry. I was, I was under the influence of alcohol. At the time, I had like two, four locals. I've never had those before. It's 12% alcohol. I'm sorry, I don't know you. But when you jumped up, I felt I took that offensively. When you jumped around your seat, I took it offensively. And, and I got very offensive by it because I felt that usually, I felt that I was under attack. I'm going to ask you, why is she talking to me? So I'm very sorry, bro. I'm very sorry. If we ever see you again, I really hope that maybe we can have a few drinks and, and, help, and kill a swing, you know. Really. I, I accept your apology even on the street when we get out, man. Thanks. Well, good. All right. That's good to hear because we don't often hear that in here. Yeah. All right. Even though you two apologize to each other and everything appears to be good, you're still staying away from each other while you're in there. Honestly, <laughs> Web's going to make sure of that. Because like I told him, if you guys get in a fight here or if you assault him or he assaults you, it's now a felony. All right? All right. Good luck, gentlemen. All right, guys. Make sure we keep them two separate. For sure. Yeah. Ernest, come on here, sir. You're gonna stand in this red square. You're gonna face the camera. Camera. First time here, you're right. Yeah. Nice place. A lot of love. Okay, here's what's happening. You and Roy are gonna be out there in the open area. I don't want you guys sitting next to each other. Yeah. Sit several spaces away from each other. Right. Just in case something happens. Okay. Here we go. Just remember, this guy says he'd like to have a drink with you sometime on this trip. Okay, yeah. All right, so if you see him, recognize him, whatever, you guys are going to be better friends than you were when you first met. Yeah, we're looking like each other there. All right, come out this way. I'm going to have you sit in the second row. Okay. okay. Listen, listen, listen for your name, because you'll be called over to fingerprints, medical, classification. All right? Once you're done in here, we're going to send you over for release. All right? And good luck to you. All right? All right, take care. Melina. 
We've got uh, Roy in the first seat up here. Yeah. And uh, Ernest, the red shirt right here. Uh, they refused to press charges on each other, so they're being booked okay. for disorderly conduct. They did apologize, which is very strange for in here to see two inmates apologize for each other, because you know usually they carry their frustrations, their hatred towards each other throughout the whole booking process. But this kind of unique situation. So, all right. I'll I'll, I'll keep them separated. We'll all be right. fine. Thanks. Face that direction, okay? Why you come visit nice. us today, sir? Run, push you around the head. Somebody that owed me money right. and didn't want to pay me. Oh. So yeah. I had to have it. You got in a fight with him? You know it. Oh, okay. It ain't over with yet. Take this off. Oh, first. no, we understand, sir. Uh, right. I'll deal with him later. Good. Have a seat there, sir. All right. I'll deal with him later. It's this. Oh, it's not personal? Yeah. Oh, okay. You take our drugs. Right. Yes, sir. You can't pay it. Stand up. Okay. Turn around, face that direction. Put your hands across your chest. Oh, that's it. Well, I guess he won't take nothing else from you again, huh? All right, Let's bring your arms there. now, sir. There you go. How long have you been uh, residentially challenged, sir? Hey, what, what are you saying? Uh, homeless. How long have you been homeless? Homeless? Hey, are you homeless? Man, I ain't homeless. Oh, you're I'm homeless? a tourist. You're a tourist? Oh, you're a tourist. Oh. Where did that homeless stuff come in? Oh, I guess I'm a right. tourist. I just got some bad information. Come on back no. this way, sir. I make more money than you make. I you probably you, do. Man. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't doubt it. OK, with this pen right here, you're going to sign for your property $291 a year. OK? All right. Come on out this way. OK. We'll come out here so you can see the nurse and everything, OK? So aside from what you have going on in your head, are you hurt anywhere else? Nowhere. Nowhere else? Okay. I, I did it. Okay. There you go, sir. So, uh, have a seat in the... Did, are y'all putting me in jail? Yes, you're, you're in custody now. Damn, man, I didn't do that. Come on. Let's have a seat over here in the front row. Yeah. So what did he take of yours? Drugs. Oh, yeah. All right. And y'all have a conflict before? No. First time? But, yeah. So. How did it all go down? Did you see him and then say, hey, no. I want my stuff? And I then went and got started? a brick. And he was laying on the ground. Right. And I slammed it on him, slammed it toward him. And he right. defected. Right. And carried on. And then he got up and yeah, hit you? Yeah, but the, 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 there's a Mexican dude over there interfered in everything. Right. I was going to get his ass, but the Mexican interfered in Is that when you got hit? Yeah. They, they, they both was up on me. Oh, both of them was. Yeah, and the way dude. I was get, I was gonna, I was gonna kill his ass. Over a couple of dollars worth of stuff. Couple, get out of here. A couple. Mm -hmm. Man, ain't no couple. Ain't anybody that do. He owes big money. Well, you know you in here on a felony charge, right? You know that's serious. So, go ahead and put that ice pack on there. Don't worry about bleed it. Bleed a little bit. I'll survive. The victim was sleeping, uh -huh. and he picked up this big brick and just slammed. slammed it down on the guy while he was sleeping. And then a couple of guys, that's how he got the mark on his eye. Uh -huh. A couple other guys saw it and then came up and punched oh, him because he was trying to still jump on the guy while he was right. laying on the ground. And oh, yeah, it was totally a one-ended fight. You know, the right. guy sleeping didn't have a chance. Right. He split his head? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, his probably orbital is fractured and he's gonna need a bunch of stitches on the side of his head. Wow. Now I guess it's all over seventy five dollars and he keeps saying he owes us a whole lot of money. This is about seventy five dollars. Seventy five dollars. Uh -huh. Let's go, William. All right, your charges are battery with a deadly weapon. It's a felony. Your bail is twenty thousand dollars. Are you going to be able to post that bill? Oh, man. I, 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 are you going to charge me and, and we fight? He went to the hospital. We just found out he's got some pretty severe injuries to him from you hitting him in the head with the brick. But the thing is... You introduced you a weapon into you it. Had he's sleeping. Who? The victim. What, 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 what victim? The guy you hit in the head with the brick. No, we, we, we was fighting. How do you think I got this? You're going to have your day in court, man, all right? I'm just going back to your seat. Hey, Dan, son. Going back to your seat. The witness is kicking my ass, too. I, I, I should be the victim. 
Thanks for your help. All right, no problem. Be safe out there. Take care. Yeah. Come on with me. Here goes a copy of your charges. OK. Like I said, right here, battery with deadly weapon. Your bail is $20,000. It's a felony. You'll probably go to court in the next couple of days. So how much time do you get? You know, if it goes all the way, that could be two to four years in prison. If two it goes to four? If it goes all the way, you know, you won't know until you get to court and start well, doing I'm, the I'm court stuff. I'm 55 years old. How, how, how he, gonna, he gonna be beating on me and I'm beating on him? All right, calm down, sir. I, don't I know. I'm saying that. How is homeboy gonna be a witness? Hey, you gotta grab a seat right here in this row. Mm -hmm. Have a seat right there. We don't discriminate against age, no matter how old you are. When you do something heinous like that, he'll go to court. He might get prison time, he might not, but hopefully he gets something for what he did. I'm going to need some help. So we got a code five heading here. Just got it for I'm going to talk to him a little bit before we open the door, OK? He's out here. Yes, sir. First time you've been in custody? Yeah, well... OK. I need you to keep it together, man, OK? We're not going to let you get hurt, OK? But uh, you can't fall apart like you're doing right now. I just don't... What are you here for? Dude tried to fight me. I didn't want to look like a punk. I never put my hands on him or nothing. I know damn well I'm not going to harm nobody. And they trying to say I was on camera waving a gun, and I wasn't waving no gun. I never had no gun or nothing. I'm not even... Man, I, okay. I just don't want to be like this, okay. man. So the, I have this, a life, bro. I, this will work itself out. I was going to get signed, bro. I okay. was making pizza, bro. Okay. Don't hurt me, bro. Well, we're not going to hurt you. Oh, I'm not okay. disrespectful or nothing. I'm, I, I got it. But I need I, you to keep I it together. Have manners, bro. Please don't discriminate me, man. If you behave, we'll have a problem with you. Okay, bro. He's not going to be combative. He's scared. We're not going to need to bring him into the chair. Is he on anything? He told me he had some alcohol earlier, but the leak was just a little bit. Oh, dude, you'll be fine, man. We're going to uh, process you. This is his first time in custody. He's a little nervous. He's very scared. We reassured him we have lots of officers here that will protect him. Very good, sir. We're just going to put this little chain on here for a minute, OK? As he goes through the process, he'll get a little more self-assured. We're going to get you checked in. Oh. Hey, what do those tattoos say? There's a tattoo on his face. Yeah. And it's De Niro. It's all about the money. Follow me. Come on. All right. So tell me a little bit more about that arrest. What can happen out there? We got a call to uh, Smith's grocery store that uh, somebody with a handgun was threatening the manager there. We stopped the car, matched the description. Once we separated two other people from him, they uh, confirmed that he was the one pulled the gun on him. Never been arrested, and uh, he started getting upset. He started hitting his head on the cage. He kept uh, popping the seatbelt, so I'd pull over. I'd put the seatbelt back on, tell him to calm down, then he would do it again. What are you actually going to book him under? Oh, I'm assault with a deadly weapon. All right. Where are you from? Are you from here? Uh, Where are you from? from? New Jersey. From New Jersey? You been out here for a while? Yeah, like. I mean, is that an LV on your there. cheek? Yeah, Louis Vuitton. Oh, Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Oh, there we go, Louis Vuitton. Stuff, bro. So you I like, like you like the high stuff. dollar stuff? Yeah, I like the high designer stuff, man. So can you tell me what's going on? I was accused for waving a gun that I never had. Never had no gun. Never never pulled out a gun or nothing. And they know when they saw whatever video, if they even if they even looked at the video, they trying to charge me with something I didn't even have. And I They're never, charges I never, though, remember that word, they're charges. Okay, you've charges? been accused of these things. It hasn't been I know, proven, okay? I know. So that's what court's for, that's what the judges are for, that's what juries are for, all that, okay? So I got to sit in here even though... You're going to be here for the night, okay? I can pretty much guarantee that. But while you're in here, you got to be tough, all right? But I'm not tough, man. I'm not, I'm not into that, man. You feel me? You don't have to be tough, but you don't have to sit here and... I don't have to, you know, like... I, I'm, I just, I'm just letting you know how jail mind. looks, all right? All right, Best case scenario, you're out sometime in the morning. Worst case scenario, you're here for at least a few days until you see the judge. Okay?
find anything new with uh, this guy and your investigation? Uh, I guess uh, we talked to Smith, and one of the officers went over and reserved the video footage from the parking lot. And uh, you can see him with a firearm oh, wow. waving it at the employees. You can't hear what he's saying, but you can see his mouth moving, and you can see him waving the firearm at him. And that's what he clearly denied to me about he never had any firearm. So you're pretty sure you got your guy? Yep. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, he's been out here kind of sweating it a little bit. Had a couple of moments of tears again. We try to talk to him about how to act in jail, but I'm not sure he quite gets it yet. Are you going to be charged with assault with a deadly weapon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they got you on video, man. Very right index on that same red square. Index, the pointer finger. Yeah. Thank you. You can have a tea. Okay. No call you? What's that? No call? Your booking process is almost done. We'll get you those phone calls soon. I think uh, realization is starting to set in. He definitely knows that he's caught. I think that's why he was so emotional earlier. This line, face this way. What are you coming in for today? Uh, intimidating officer. Where you work at, man? I'm a bartender. Gotcha. Down your side. Oh, it feels great having those off. Oh my god. Herman, all the way down. We're gonna go out to row number two, chair number two, and have a seat. Right out here. I just kept on patting down your uh, guy who's got a bunch of blood and scrapes on him. What's the uh, story with him? Well, it looks like he's being arrested for intimidating appeals with the graveyard officers uh, transporting him down here. Um, it occurred after he got in a fight with a local uh, USC fighter. Um, the USC fighter spit in his face and then jumped over the bar. They got into a fight, a scuffle. Later on, they shared beers and drinks together. Everything was okay. It looks like the uh, USC fighter got upset over something else. and. Again, throwing bottles and uh, basses all over the place. They stepped outside where the fight ensued, and we got called out there. The suspect tried to engage in a fight with the police officer. And it looks like our uh, suspect here got the best of the, the USC fighter, and he's in the hospital now. How tall are you? 6'2". How much weight? 205. All the blood on your face, is that from you or is it from the other guy? I don't know. I don't even know. I blood on my face. I heard it. My eye hurts. My jaw hurts a little bit. Did you see the first row? Yeah. 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 Rumor mill is you, you got the best of that deal, huh? Yeah. I guess so. Oh, my face hurts, though. <laughs> How's he looking? I don't know, he's in the hospital. What do you do? It's starting to get tough. Um, thought I was going to be a punk, and I'm not a punk, so. Fair enough. I don't care who you are. You right up here with me? You're going to sign right here for your uh, money. Came in with $40. Mm -hmm. Your charge is going to be intimidating at PO. Mm -hmm. You'll have a chance to talk to Petrial to see if you qualify for an OR. All right? Right so how long am I going to be in jail for? All right, if you yeah. post your bail, you'll be out sometime later today. If you do not post your bail or, or get an OR, they're going to hold you here for at least three days because it's a gross mess. Yep. All the way down to the very end. Yes, sir. All right, man, so let me get this straight. You end up getting in a fight with a guy. Yeah. You end up drinking with a guy. Yeah. You end up getting in a fight with a guy again. Yeah. How'd that all work out? Uh, he was an ass. He got it. He got it. He was a fighter. I don't know if you know. He was a UFC fighter. Retired, supposedly. But he just he started talking to his girlfriend, calling her a bitch, and this and that. You stupid whore. And, and I said, dude, just relax. And that's when he came at me again. So I mean, we we fought. We hugged out. We were drinking, and then. And then it happened again. They didn't get you for the fight, they didn't get you for anything No, else. they no, it was... How come they got you for uh, it was the intimidating? Police, it was the police officer, and I was, you know, intoxicated, so I was a little bit verbal, more than I should Did you square up or anything, or just, just no, verbal? just verbal. All the way down, turn to the right? Yes, sir. Did yes. you sign up for the phone? Yeah. All right. Uh, stop for here, pace this way. Did you come in with a credit card? No. You're gonna have to have somebody come down with the uh, credit no, card. I won't right? at the bar. And step on in. Phone system the same as it was on the other side. Thank you, sir. All right. 
What a difference a few hours makes. Uh, he's calmed down. He's got himself under control. Very polite gentleman. I uh, said he had to take care of business, and he did. Uh, I guess the MMA fighter was three and seven. Now he's uh, three and eight.